I've set myself the goal to become rank 1 veteran on a brand new Hardcore Iron Man. I've given myself one bond, so I have 14 days to complete this challenge. Here's the current high scores. You only need 50 to get on the top page, and this is probably the lowest out of all the bosses, so... Should be quite quick getting on there. Will I be able to survive until I get to rank 1? Let's start off by heading into the wilderness to gather bones for 43 prayer. This nice guy here is tanking the skeleton so I don't die in the first 30 seconds. That's one run done, about another 20 to go. Right, so we are 2 hours 30 minutes into the account and we have just completed our final invent of bones. 15 prayer along the way. Now I just need to make a little bit of money and we take these to the Chaos Altar where we might just die and have wasted two hours of our life. Well, here we go. One bond. Let's begin. Alright, my best money making method is probably going to be picking up items in the wilderness. So in order to start doing that, let's get myself a loot and bag real quick and hopefully not die in the process. Right, so only an idiot like me would kick rats for 20 plus kills before realising, oh, I could use a weapon to be, qu be quicker. <laughs> uh, Alright. It's a 1 in 15 drop rate, so we should have it any time now. Luckily, the rats don't damage me, but I am sat here getting scared of every dot already, so I already know I'm going to hate this hardcore Iron Man experience. There we go. Took a few more kills than it should have done, but loot and bag acquired. Right, now I just need to wait and lose aggro for 10 minutes, and then I can begin hopping around worlds, getting the steel plate legs, in order to have enough money to use my noted bones at the Chaos Altar. Right, that's one full invent and loot and bag collected, that should be all we need. I'll hop back to a free to play world just so the dragons don't slay me. I have died like that before. Uh. Right, final plate legs are sold. 34,000 coins cash. That's more than enough for doing all the bones. Let's go risk our life. Right, we've got my two pieces of food with me, all of my bones, and all of our cash. What could possibly go wrong? 44 combat can attack me here. Oh, there might be some PKs. Let's just give it all we got. Zoom in as far as we can and start doing this. They have updated the uh, bones as well, so it always uses the ones at the top of your invent, so this does make it a lot nicer for clicking now. If someone does log in my combat level, I'd probably just accept my fate. <laughs> I don't know what level that guy was. Fuck me. He clicked me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Let's continue this. PK's already in the world. Do I care? No, let's just continue with our prayer. Nice. 37 prayer. 40 prayer coming in, can finally use protect from range. Should be a little bit safer now. Although with two food, I'm probably not tanking anyone. There we go, 43 prayer is done. Let's get out of here. All right, prayer and range walking around here. I don't want to get one hit by I can't even think what it's called, the crazed archaeologist, if he's about, I could be killed. And after spending 3 hours and 42 minutes, I don't want to be one hit for all my progress. That's not too bad though. Brand new hardcore, 3 hours and 42 minutes, and we've got overheads. The most overpowered thing in the game. Alright, safely made it out of the wilderness. Might as well pick up some monk's robes while we're here as they will be very useful for the rest of the account.
can I join, mate? Wonderful. That's nice and easy. And we get some monk's rope. Look at that. I feel like I should have um, actually changed the appearance of my character, but we'll go with the bot look. Maybe less people will attack me. <laughs> right. And after just leaving the wilderness, let's go straight back in it. And uh, risk our lives once again. Just to try and get to Ardy. A little bit quicker. No PKs. We are safe. Time to go train some agility so my run regens a tiny bit faster. Let's go. Ten agility done. Time to move to that. Why can I never... I, I start a clip and I can't remember where we're going. Uh, what's the place called? Drainal Village. We're going to Drainal Village. And we'll get up to 20, maybe 30 there. Let's go. Alright, there is 20 agility. I think I'll stop it there for now and let's start doing some quests. While we're in Draenor, might as well pick up a Chronicle and some teleport cards so we can get around and... Let's get a Cabbage Cape and a Paint Cannon because, you know, why not? Which is house completed. Uh, account should be a lot more safe now. We've got 25 HP and overhead prayers. On to the next one. Alright, another one done. Another quick quest. Sheep Shearer done. Alright, it's time for the Cook's Distance speedrun. Let's go. Ah, oh, we fucked it up. There's a second dialogue option. But there it is, Cook's Distance completed. And that's another quest. Mistlin Mysteries done. This gets me seven crafting. Uh, going to need 16 in the end for my amulet of choice. So it's a good boost. And that is Romeo and Juliet completed. Another five quest points added. And Restless Ghost is done. Rune Mystery is done. Come up to the end of X marks the spot. From this we get an XP lamp. And I think I'm just going to chuck it on craft ends. So it'll save me the tiniest bit of time later. Yeah, one more level we can do flax. Or spin flax. And I'll probably just do that to level 16. Good job to us. We have saved this poor man from spending his entire life as a chicken. And he gives us 300 gold for it. Yeah, seems fair. As we're passing by, might as well pick up the 10k from the stronghold. Nice and easy as well for us as we have prayer. 10k collected. Now I could go get myself some fancy boots. However, there are some even better boots I can get, which you'll see in a little while. There we go. We have killed the vampire and saved Draenor from this nice, friendly person that's been sat in a abandoned mansion, living peacefully. All this time, kind of feels like we're the bad guy here, but you know, they'll sure be happy with that. As we're close by, I might as well go ahead and finish off 25 agility while I'm here in Draenor. And I've missed a level, but there is 25 agility. Probably the longest grind out of the way. A couple more quests to do now. Let's get on with it. Oh, so it turns out you don't need 16 crafting. You can just <laughs> use a ball of wool on your holy symbol and get it for free. I'll go um go charge that next time I'm in Edgeville. And that's my best and slot amulet. Just about finished a monk's friend. Decided to do that while I was passing by just to get the lore in to teleport around a bit. 
Well, I've helped some gnomes, and they pay me for it in some nice attack experience. It's always the last rock you check. <laughs> Every time. But this right here, this is us completing the Grand Tree, which puts me at, what, 30 agility? And should be high enough magic now to teleport to Varric, which is quite nice. And I'm just terrible at guessing what magic level I'm getting. 21. But we also 2.5k of 40 attack. A count is almost ready to take on Vettian. Finally got around to getting my symbol blessed. What's that? It's an extra 8 prayer bones taking us up to 19. Very nice. All those quests we've done have let us start Dragon Slayer, so I can get an anti-dragon shield, which should be quite helpful when I'm running around in the wilderness. Completed the birthday event just so we can get some best in slot shoes, the Jad Slippers. And, well, that backpack, no one cares about that. That's just something about the Jad Slippers and Jad Plushy. Looks so good. Decided to come and do the Barrack Museum. So that I can go start Wildy Slayer. First task 124 mammoths. Uh, I can safe spot these. I don't know if there'll be many PKs around there. Uh, little 30 odd combat. We'll go test it out. And hope I can get 25 magic to at least tally away before I get PK'd. <laughs> okay, so this account luck is brilliant. We get a Larent key and a loot path on the first kill of a mammoth. Right, I realised I can't get too many more magic levels as it's going to start affecting my combat level. So we're just going to go ahead and open the Larent chest right now and hopefully get some rune. And that's not useful. Ah, uh, really could have used some money there. I'm not too sure how I'm going to make money. Ideally, last month's standing would be good, but you need 750 total level to go play it. So, do I want to go skill a lot? Uh, we'll see. I've decided that the best bet of trying to get some money is to go to the agility pyramid. Uh, I'm only 31 agility, so that's going to be Probably pretty painful, but we'll see if we can at least get one or two pyramid tops, and that'll be all I really need. Well, somehow I've made it to the top, and I only fell twice. Ah, here we go. Last jump, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can see it now, getting sent right to the bottom, one after the other. Right, let's put run on, hope that helps, please. <laughs> oh no! It's gonna keep going. 13 HP, I'm not gonna die from that. I will wind up now. One last one. And uh, we've made it. The first 10k is secured. I don't even wanna talk about it. Pyramid sucks. 20k. 35 agility and 30k. That will do. Rune mace acquired. And I've missed 40 attack, but there we go, I can finally use the rune mace. Now, this certainly looks like a guy who can kill Vetian. I think we might give it a go. With the recent Wildy Boss rework, Jagex made it so that 10 players can receive loot from multi bosses. As long as I'm able to deal one damage to either of Vettian's form, I'll get kill credit and loot. I've kept my combat level low to avoid PKs, but this is still extremely dangerous as my hit points level is only 28. If I stand on the wrong tile, I can be one hit by Vettian's lightning or shield bash attacks. Along with this, when I want to bank, I have to exit through the escape caves, which are multi-combat, and I can easily be killed by the NPCs inside here. Let's give it a try. I forgot you need 50k to get in. Let's try this again in a minute.
Now that I know vetting is possible with these stats and gear, it's time to grind out 750 total to unlock last man standing, as it's the best place to get supplies for the rank 1 vetting and grind. I've skipped a lot of the skilling, but here is 6 farming. Oh, and uh, 750 total. Let's go play LMS. Right, two last man standing wins. Got myself my first set of supplies. Let's go try some Vettian. been this boss room for almost 40 minutes now it's taken so long to get kills because it's such an active pk spot here and although they can't attack me they do keep coming and attacking my teammate who's pretty much doing 99 percent of the work killing the boss for me uh at this point i decide i might as well go bank for more supplies while he takes the time to run back Looking back at the clip now, I can just see myself clicking an anglerfish, but <laughs> I'm only 33 hit points, so it only heals me a 7. Oh, 